tipsy cause I've been sipping on Henny. I got the study of my vision and she ain't from the city. And she ain't foreign and she boring. Love the way you twerk it, shawty. Throwing money on her own, I call it independent, shawty. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It is Friday, the last day of the week, and finishing off the week here on Torque Drift Beta for the week of the Torque Drift Beta. We have an update. The uh, game devs did do an update recently on the game, so if you guys just got accepted into the Torque Drift Beta, you guys probably have the updated version. So I'm going to go through some of the updates. As you can see, the main screen kind of looks the same, except for when I move my phone, it moves the car in the background. I'm not sure if it did that before, but uh, it's doing it now. And if you notice up top, the uh, little icon for your key logo is a little bit different. They did reset all the um, accounts, so I am down back down to the beginning, but I have got my way back up to 18 and uh, got myself up to bronze rookie class. So a couple of the changes in the new update for the Torque Drift is uh, the controls. You can now do tilt control, which uh, I'm not... I tried it, not too fond of it. It's very sensitive. Um, I don't know if you can adjust the sensitivity. You can down on the bottom of the screen. I just realized that. So the tilt control is gonna give you the ability to use two fingers and use handbrake and gas at the same time if you're not using your thumb and your index finger like I have been. So get wrecked. I didn't notice that was on the bottom of the screen because my uh, iPhone 10 bar is right there. So I, I do like the button still. I am still using the buttons. Um, Although I may switch the tilt and give it a shot and switch the uh, sensitivity. So that's one big thing. They have allowed that well as vibration enabled, which is basically when you hit the steering, it, the vibration and the vibration of the car and stuff like that. So that's another cool thing up there. We are still high quality. I think we can do advanced settings now. Yeah, you can do advanced settings now. You can uh, change a bunch of the settings for advanced I'm just leaving it on high right now I was on ultra but I realized some frame rate lag so I knocked it down to high it still looks incredibly awesome on high so that's one of the biggest updates the other big update was uh, that so like I said they did reset all the accounts so I am only rocking uh, s14 with some uh, some mods to it and uh, a body kit but uh, that is about it and uh, there is one other thing that I have noticed on the update, which we're going to get into. So we are just going to go in straight to the yard and we're going to drive. We're going to try and win this, uh, win this tandem event. We are going to be running our S14. So they did make an update in the game screen when you're driving. There is attack and gearing now. You can't change the gearing now, but you can see it. If you remember in a later episode when I was tapping on the top of the screen to get the tachometer, now it is automatically on the bottom of the screen, as you can see. So it is pretty cool that they implemented that now. So we're going to try and win this underpass race. I'm not sure if this car is going to have enough power to uh, get all the way through this bank. Actually, it is very, very close, so we'll take that. I, it's not the best run. We probably could have ran higher up on the bank, but the car doesn't have that much power. So hopefully the Miata that looks stock does not walk me in points, and he just did. So, well, that's unfortunate. So I am going to start working on getting one car mainly tuned up to a pro level status instead of having multiple cars. So there is another update with the sponsors, which I will get into here in a second. I'm going to try and get as much as I can on this, and apparently that Miata has a lot more power than I thought it did. So he's going to actually beat me on this one, which is probably going to drop me out of bronze rookie class and probably back into grassroots gold. I hope not, but yeah, unfortunately we did lose that. This car doesn't have that much power. We didn't lose by much, but we did lose. Probably that last clipping point. They also changed the ending screen, if you haven't noticed um, from the previous video. Damn, he smacked the wall. Uh, it's a little bit different now at the end. It doesn't show, like, it's small. And see, I lost 14 keys. So they also changed this, where you can go into another battle, you can return, we're just doing some donuts apparently, and then if the opponent didn't leave, you can challenge him to a rematch. So we're going to return back to the main screen. Um, I would like to win the yard, but uh, unfortunately, I don't know if I'm going to be able to. So another thing that they did update in this last update of the beta is they added more sponsors. They added turn 14 distributions, they added Gretty. And they added, over here, they added Rad Industries from Rad Dan Briquette. 
This one is going to be extremely hard to get. Drifting for a thousand meters on Hakone. That I've been trying to do, but I can't seem to get a thousand meter drifts on Hakone. Uh, it doesn't have to be in one sweep. As long as you keep the drift chain going back and forth, you can do a thousand meter drift chain and it will register. Because I did do 150 there. We do have my OMG sponsorship. Uh, I did get Raise and uh, Down and of course Grease Monkey. And I believe I did, yep, I just did grab uh, Greddy as well. And then I'm going to be working on Rad Industries to die for 200 meters. This one is going to be probably one of the hardest, I think, is th three times door dives, 100 meters on Ocean Drive for turn 14. It would be sweet to get turn 14, but like I said, that that's a very hard feat to get um, unless you are going against the guy who's a very smooth driver and runs really nice lines where you can just tuck up in there, hold his door, and transition back and forth holding his door. Because, like I said, you have to continue. You, can, you don't have to do the 100 meter door dive in one dive. You can do it in multiple different dives, but you have to link the drifts together, which makes it a little bit harder because you have to make sure you do not lose those points. So we are going to go to Ocean Drive just because uh, it's here and we're trying to get some uh, tandems and we're trying to uh, drive this car. We're probably going to buy some parts maybe and upgrade our car some. We do have some uh, torque box so we can get some instant upgrades into this car. Um, I did get a comment from a subscriber saying I should work on one car and maybe make it pro level status and have a lower horsepower car as well. So kind of I'm trying to change the way I'm doing it this time with the accounts being reset. We're going to focus on one car instead of wasting all my money on all the other cars. I should have e brake in so much sooner than that. I forgot that was a really short section and I didn't transition all the way over there. So I did link those together if you didn't notice and then I tapped the wall. So like I said, as long as you initiate back and forth, you link your drift chains together. Um, this is a very horrible run. Uh, we're definitely gonna lose this one again. So, like I said, we're gonna have to pop some upgrades in this car to make it, you know, up there in the drifting ability. Maybe we can get some good door dives and maybe beat him in the chase. Um, not sure how this is gonna turn out, but I'm having a lot of fun still on this game. I know a lot of uh, a lot of you guys that have been watching uh, these videos this past week here on the Torque Drift Beta did get accepted into the beta. Wow, what the heck? That was a cheat shot did get accepted into the beta as well. If you guys haven't got accepted into the beta, I will see, you know, if I can see if there's any spots open or left. Oh, he crashed. Maybe this will be my chance to uh, wait for lead. Oh, he went all that way. So yeah, I, he has not a very good chaseable run. So yeah, there's no way I was going to be able to uh, beat him on that one. That's the unfortunate thing. Sometimes when they have not so chaseable runs, you can't get a good chase, so you can't get a lot of points in the chase position, which causes you to have a very bad lead, or have a, have a very bad point score. So you have to make sure you get a good lead run, because otherwise you run the risk of not getting able to have a good chase run, like case in point. He went way out, out there, and I couldn't even chase him. I didn't know where he was, and it caused me to not be able to get points in my chase. See, there's the rematch is available. Um, I'm not going to rematch him. I'm just going to go and probably look at getting some parts onto this car to see if, yep see I did get knocked down I am now back into gold grassroots which I guess is not a bad idea it's still up there oh no we're gonna go into the garage we're gonna check out what parts we can do to the car and see what we can uh, maybe quickly install on this we do have turbos we do have the wise fab so apparently I wanted to go YouTube so we are gonna order our clutch and we're gonna instant buy that. We are gonna order brakes. We are gonna instant buy that as well. I feel like the instant buy um, costs have gone down a little bit. So we wanna add a little bit more power to this car. So we are gonna add the ECU, instant buy that. And then we are down on money. We cannot really buy anything else. So I think we are probably, so we can leave our AC tuned how it is. And then what was the other part that we put in? We put the clutch in. 
We're gonna leave the clutch how it is. And then brakes. That's right, we did install brakes as well. I guess we'll just leave brakes. I don't really like modifying these yet because I'm still learning on how it's you know, tuned and stuff like that. So the one thing I think we do need to do is uh, that's it. So let's see if we can't get a good run or two in here. We did get some new parts on there. Uh, we're gonna go to the downhill section in this track. I'm probably gonna try that $2,000 one again. As you can see, we are back down to grassroots gold beta testing. Um, we are at 434 horsepower. I'm not sure if I need to start bumping up my tire compounds, but uh, we're gonna see. But like I said, the tachometer on the bottom is actually a pretty cool add-on. Uh, it is kind of interesting to be able to see it. Now, if they could implement me not going completely off track, if they could implement gear change and say an open lobby, it would be so much better. I would really like to see open lobbies because it would be nice to be able to get some people, some subscribers on into a session and get slides with subscribers. here on the beta, but we may have to wait for the actual game to come out. Um, I know for a fact that gear changing is going to be coming to the actual game. Um, I don't know if they're going to be bringing it to the beta. I did hear that they will be bringing manual transmissions to the actual game. And ah, he must have really wrecked. We had nice initiation on the wall though. So I hope you guys enjoyed this update video on some of the updates that I found in the new update for Torque Drift. Um, like I said, I wanted to do a whole week here on Torque Drift. Next week, I will probably be getting back to my normal Forza, Horizon, Dirt Rally, and all the stuff like that. See, I have a good enough lead because he doesn't have a really good chaseable run, which is making it really hard to get chase points. And it makes it really hard to get chase points if I wreck too. Oh, I don't want to this. I don't want to get disqualified. That would be bad. Have that big of a lead and then get disqualified at the end because I didn't cross the line in enough time. So we're gonna pretty much hightail it back to the line quickly as we can and uh because I probably know he probably did not get a very good chase looks like he's uh probably just new to the torque drift beta so everybody starts off somewhere and I have really bad runs as well so next week like I said I'll probably be getting back to Forza Horizon 3, Forza Motorsport 7, Dirt Rally, Dirt 4 Back to the normal wheel setup game. I will be doing still torque trip videos and stuff like that if you guys want to see them. Um, and I will keep bringing out, you know, videos as I find out more information about it. If there's updates or what not in the near future. So we're going to try and tackle that long bank one more time and see if we can't get that money and get us back up. I think we just put ourselves back up into bronze rookie. We did. So that's good. Back up into bronze rookie. Not in grassroots. So we're going to try doing the yard one more time at the underpass and hopefully we can get a good uh, good lead run on there and uh, hopefully we're not going against the same guy. So like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed this update video on the beta. I Like I said, I will bring more videos out as I find more information out or updates come become available and it is against the same guy. So um, hopefully we can... Uh, Hopefully we can get a better uh, outcome on this one. So as you guys know, you guys can follow me on Facebook, Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram. All of which are found in the description box below. That's too much angle. Yep. So I think I'm going to end it here before I make a complete fool of myself. So as always, guys, I'd like thank you guys for watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. I'm out.